What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to this special match here on War Robots where on the enemy side there are six people from the same clan, the Fallen group and uh, you know, they're going to dominate this match pretty hard and I'm trying to make sure you guys know the mistakes I did over the course of this match, right? I need to learn from my, my own mistakes and make them better in the future and there's a bunch of them here in this round one of them being already encountering this guy here at the long range without having any cover for me where I can retreat into taking all my shield and hit point damage all at the same time the, the reason why I'm here is the center beacon is most important. If you control this one, you have a really good base to operate from. Problem is, he's now backed up by a plasma griffin, which is just a hard counter to my carnage. But I was so desperate in not giving them this middle point that I actually even ran in there when it was way too late. Mistake number one, don't run in there when it's way too late and uh, get yourself unnecessary damage in the process because that was bound to happen and this beacon was already lost. Because unfortunately I seem to be one of the only persons who really care about this center beacon at this point and uh, if it's like that you're, you're just gonna not get it, right? <laughs> unfortunately this is the sad truth right here. Now, I can make up for it a little bit by fighting this Lancelot here. I have very little health. That's a Lancelot with Plasma Tyrants. And I have 8,000 health. So how much can I possibly do now? Well, I got one thing going for me. And that's the um, this p position here. This, uh, this uh, staircase that blocks most of my bot where only my weapons stick out and the enemy Tyrants aren't really hitting me. I've already r run through his shield. Uh, taken that shield down. I've already con done considerable amount of damage to his frontal fl armor plating. And I've done considerable amount of damage to his butt directly but unfortunately I'm unable to keep him pinned and uh, now I'm spawning in my Hashi with Tarans uh, to just jump, come in from the side and deal a whole bunch of damage to this plasma griffin right there also trying to ambush this uh, this plasma uh, Lancelot from the from uh, from the behind basically the Ancelot that's how it's called with the Ancel shield um, I'm getting I'm able to get both of them get rid of the both of them and even attack the next plasma griffin spawning in which of course plasma griffin is once again a counter to my shielded Haashi in this case uh, but that's it and that dash you saw that dash that was a huge mistake I didn't have my Tarans reloaded and yet I used my only means of escape that one dash that was supposed to save my butt when I get have to get into cover and I used it to be offensive when you have a dash bot, don't use that last dash of yours to get into an unknown territory because I was dashing into the enemy beacon and they can spawn there at any given time. Of course they did, of course they killed me. Really, really big mistake there. You should always have one of those dashes in reserve so you can dash out of the enemy. Um, yeah, out of danger, basically, right? And never use it to go into it unless you know exactly you're going to be successful and there's no one spawning in suddenly, right? I'm holding my shield up here to the enemy, um, which I have to hold into him so that the plasma uh, weapons don't really deal damage to me. But it's so that my level 7 Tarans, which I have here, they're just not going to be uh, uh, damaging enough. Um, and this is like a good example also this round here, showing you that the Facebook game is not all about being easy. It's just absolutely crazy. Once you found these match find these matches with full clans, they're going to destroy you so bad, man. It's going to be crazy. So, the mistake number two I've shown you. Mistake number three is not being aware that the enemy can also be on your own team. I was trying to dash away here and I dashed in with my safety dash. The second one I saved to get into tr out, of, out of enemy uh, danger. I dashed into the Leo. Let's have a look at this again. That's something you really have to be uh, having in mind, your surroundings. I had 90,000 hit points. Look how much hit points I end up with at the end. 30,000. I've lost 60,000 hit points from where I had wouldn't have gotten I wouldn't even have gotten one damage point if my dash wouldn't stick into the friendly bot right there and I was stuck there his enemy did double damage with double splash damage at this point and uh, I was getting full damage from something that should never have happened in the first place because I wasn't aware of the fact that a friend was there coming from behind I tried to dash safe safe dash into that spot and I was stuck there there was no way to escape, my dash was used and that's it. Mistake number four, jumping onto the middle platform. Whenever you have a jump out, guys, never, ever jump onto that platform. Please don't do it, it's always going to kill you. I've seen it done by enemies dozens of times. I always focus them first because they are so visible by any, like from wherever you are on the map. Don't ever jump on that middle platform right there, guys. I've seen it done by enemies and I've seen it do myself do that I've caught myself doing that a couple of times and every time I jump up there I get killed instantly not only when there's a good good amount of group good, good group of enemies on the other team team like we have here even if you're just on public and there's random people you're gonna get killed there so quick 
even if you can, avoid jumping onto that middle spot right there. Maybe jump over it. Like, that is possible. If you know it's gonna maybe get you the beacon or it's gonna get you a very important kill on the enemy, jump over it, but don't land on top of it. It's just going to be so dangerous. Mistake number four was a really, really big one. Mistake number five is trying to think I could even remotely touch that beacon because it's not going to happen. This is a group of six people in a clan. They're really good. They know what they're doing and they're not certainly not going to run out of butts. So, trying to think I was able to get that beacon uh, with that little half reloaded uh, uh, um, Punisher uh, Lancelot that I was using there was mistake number five or six and uh, I think all those mistakes summarized all up once uh, you know, like one by one uh, they really really stopped me from performing very well here in this round and I have also ran through my bots that's mistake number six or I'm not even sure which mistake number we are at now uh, but don't run through your bots so quick right you should always try to remain on the map, somehow being helpful, even if it's just to capture Beacon. That Rogatka I had before, that I just sacrificed by jumping on the high platform. Do you know how important this one would be now at the end of this match to just jump around and capture Beacon all over the place? That would be ridiculously important, okay? But unfortunately, I just lost it for no reason, so that was another... Like, that was a really, really big mistake here. Running through my bot so quick was another one, and, um, you know... Uh, those middle beacon, sometimes it's just not worth it to go for a beacon that you're never going to be able to capture anyways. And that was certainly the case here. That's why I ran through my bots because I felt I felt like I have a chance to get this beacon when really there was never a chance at all. I still scored a good amount of damage output, but I have to just uh, draw my head here and say good job there, Fallen. You've done a great job here. And uh, oh, it's five people. It's not even six. And uh, you definitely dominated that round by a long shot. Uh, by a long way. How do you say it? I'm not sure. Anyways, that was a whole bunch of summary of mistakes. Let's say I uh, would have avoided all of these mistakes. I'm not sure if we would have won, won, but I could have certainly scored a much different result for our team and for myself as well. And I feel like it's a really, really important and helpful thing to once in a while see somebody making a huge amount of mistakes and then, you know, showing them off to try to make uh, make sure you avoid them and I avoid them in the future. <laughs> We're all going to get better into uh, the next matches, right? And here we go with some additional video footage on the Android account of mine, guys, which, uh, of course, goes to say that it's level 7, level 8 average equipment, mostly fighting level 11, level 12 players. But you guys want to see that, so here we go. Let's show it to you guys. Uh, but don't expect me to carry that team. I don't think I will be able to do that. <laughs> Um, I have a dog with Hydras and Orkins, and I really like the combination because um, jump bots are very vulnerable to Hydras because they often are out of cover and easily to hit. And you can force them to jump, you can force them out of cover, and when they are coming out of cover, you can then switch to Orkins and hit them really hard with them, right? I like the combination, it's like a psych psychological component. They can, can be hit by you, but they cannot hit you yet, right? And then they come out of cover and now you have a really good weapon against them too. So I had to sacrifice my body, got two hit killed almost uh, there very quickly. And I'm in my level 7 or so uh, carnage and you can see those level 5 and level 6 thunders. I'm not joking guys, those thunders are level 5 and level 6. Barely do any damage whatsoever against that Leo. <laughs> I have literally put my entire th uh, uh, carnage uh, thunders in there and I've barely gotten through half of his hit points. Um, this is uh, this is just what the game looks like to me right now on Android, unfortunately. But with my death button combination, thanks to the high alpha damage, I can still still inflict some damage. But it's uh, level seven Orkans, level eight Pinata, I think, and the bot is level seven or level eight. It's uh, it's not exactly allowing me to really do a lot of damage there, but it's gonna thanks to the alpha damage I can do it. This Jesse with a aphids right there, I uh, I expected him to have aphids, so I walked against the corner. Uh, and uh, tried to hide. He still hit me a little bit with it, but it wasn't too bad. So this, I, I could handle this little bit of damage there. Now I would like to ambush him and just jump on him, but the problem is he's got cover from the right, and uh, I'm the kind of guy who also fires at people who's got Ansel Shield. See, this Ansel Shield, I'm firing on it, even though it takes my damage stats a little bit down and stuff like that. But I feel like if I'm not, if, if I, if no one fires on the Ansel Shield. Like, how, you're never gonna deal damage to this guy, right? Someone has to bring it down, so why not? Unfortunately, this, and he's just blocking me to death. I, I was literally walking against him for five seconds. He was literally walking into me for another five seconds. I was trying to back off behind cover, and he would just keep pushing me into the enemy. I don't know why the enemy is sometimes in your team, but apparently it happens. And uh, yeah, if you wanna get an experience of what it looks like when I play on Android, this is what it looks like very often. I spawn in my level 7 bot 
and level 12 Orkans just one hit kill me and only use half of their Orkans for this. <laughs> He, I, I, I'm, I'm serious. He only used like half of his rockets for, for, for instantly killing me, and he could, he could kill me twice instantly with this bot uh, against uh, twice of mine. This is just ah, this is what he looks like to me. It's terrible. But you guys want that, so here we go, right? <laughs> you want to get me, see me get whooped by these people, and um, I have one good thing though that the the, the Tolumbas on this Haeshi are level 11. So that's that's my highest equipment. That's the the one thing that I really have that works. Problem is that it doesn't work very well against shielded opponents, of course, but at least it's something I can jump into at the end where I can survive a little bit longer and still deal some damage and maybe capture a beacon, be a little bit of helpful without dying immediately to my enemies, right? Because if I had like another carnage or so, I would run in there, I die immediately and then I'm out of the match and I can't be helping my team anymore. Even if I do a short amount of burst damage there real quick, this is not going to be much helpful. I think if I jump into my uh, Hayashi at the very last moment there and deal some uh, some extra damage and survive and be able to capture beacons, I'm ca I can be more helpful than I can be, um, uh, you know, if I if I have like a knife bot there. Only 500,000 damage done, that's really, really bad. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, what I have to fight here. Let's take a look at the enemy that are on the un enemy team here. Um, they're level 12, level 10, level okay 9, also a few things, but this is the equipment that they are using. The lowest stuff is level 9, and uh, the, the stuff that I'm using here, <laughs> let's take a look at that. I also want to show this to you guys, because uh, I, I would I know you would you would ask for it. Is, uh, yeah, my, my stuff is level... Uh, the Hydras are okay, my Hydras are not bad, and my Tolumbas are not bad, but those aren't exactly the weapons that will carry your damage, right? They're just weapons that allow you to do something and survive from a distance. And my 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 damage output stuff is just way off. It's I need to upgrade that stuff so badly. Um, but anyways, let's uh, let's keep working on this account. Let's try to upgrade it a little bit, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you some awesome video footage with this too, uh, against some incredibly high level people. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Are awesome as always. Money gaming signing off. Bye-bye.